Welcome to our presentation on precancerous skin lesions and skin cancers. Today, we'll explore various types of skin conditions that can potentially lead to cancer, their characteristics, and management strategies. This session aims to enhance your understanding of early detection and prevention. Leukoplakia is a pre-malignant lesion often linked to tobacco and alcohol use. It appears as a white, non-scrapable plaque, commonly found on the tongue or mouth floor. While usually painless, it requires a biopsy to rule out squamous cell cancer. Risk factors should be minimized for resolution. Actinic keratosis presents as rough, scaly papules on sun-exposed skin, feeling like sandpaper. Common in fair-skinned individuals, it poses a risk of progressing to squamous cell carcinoma. Management includes cryotherapy, topical treatments, and sun protection to prevent recurrence. Bowen's disease, or squamous cell carcinoma in situ, is a well-demarcated scaly plaque with a high risk of becoming invasive. Treatment options include excision, cryotherapy, and topical agents to prevent progression to squamous cell carcinoma. Skin cancers include basal cell, squamous cell, melanoma, and Merkel cell carcinoma. Each type has distinct characteristics and risk factors. Understanding these differences is crucial for early detection and effective treatment. Basal cell cancer is the most common skin cancer, characterized by a pearly papule with telangiectasia. It arises from basal epidermal cells due to UV exposure. Although slow-growing, it requires management through excision or topical treatments to prevent complications. Squamous cell cancer, the second most common type, arises from keratinocytes. It often appears as a scaly, crusted nodule on sun-exposed areas. This cancer can metastasize, necessitating surgical excision and possibly radiation or immunotherapy for advanced cases. Melanoma is a serious skin cancer with various subtypes, including superficial spreading, nodular, lentigo maligna, and acrolentiginous melanoma. Each subtype has unique features and risk factors, emphasizing the need for early detection and treatment. The ABCDE criteria help identify melanoma, asymmetry, border irregularity, color variation, diameter over 6 mm, and evolution. Early detection is crucial, with E being the most important for identifying changes over time. Superficial spreading melanoma is the most common subtype, often found in younger adults. It starts as a flat lesion with irregular borders and color variation. Early detection during the radial growth phase improves prognosis significantly. Nodular melanoma is aggressive with rapid vertical growth. It appears as a dark dome-shaped nodule, often lacking typical ABCDE features. Early dermal invasion leads to a worse prognosis, highlighting the need for prompt recognition and treatment. Lentigo maligna melanoma occurs in the elderly on sun-damaged skin. It begins as a slowly enlarging brown macule and can evolve into melanoma with vertical invasion. Early detection during the in-situ phase offers a better prognosis. Acral lentiginous melanoma is common in darker-skinned individuals, occurring on palms, soles, and undernails. Often diagnosed late due to its location, it has a poorer prognosis. Early vertical growth necessitates prompt intervention. Desmoplastic melanoma is a rare subtype, often fibrous and scar-like, common in older adults on sun-exposed areas. It may be amelanotic, making recognition difficult. It has a high local recurrence rate, but a lower risk of nodal spread. Melanoma staging is based on breast low thickness, ulceration, lymph node involvement, and metastasis. Sentinel lymph node biopsy is recommended for tumors with a depth of 0.8 meters or more, or if ulcerated, to guide treatment decisions. Early stage melanoma treatment involves wide local excision with margins based on breast low depth. 
sentinel lymph node biopsy is considered for tumors with a depth of 0.8 milnas or more, ensuring comprehensive management and improved outcomes. Intermediate to advanced melanoma stages require surgery combined with immunotherapy or targeted therapy. Adjuvant therapy reduces recurrence risk, while metastatic disease may involve combination therapies and radiation for palliation. Merkel cell carcinoma is a fast-growing, painless nodule on sun-exposed skin, affecting older and immunosuppressed patients. It is an aggressive neuroendocrine tumor with early metastasis, requiring wide excision and immunotherapy for management. This comparison table highlights key differences among basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and melanoma. Understanding these distinctions aids in diagnosis, treatment planning, and improving patient outcomes through targeted interventions. Thank you for watching our presentation on precancerous skin lesions and skin cancers. We hope this session has enhanced your understanding and awareness empowering you to recognize and manage these conditions effectively.